following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, uh, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. I posted a chart here from uh, Shane Smolian, wolftraders.com. This is the kind of chart that got me interested in the financial part of astrology uh, way back in 1966 and 67. Uh, what happened is Dr. Miller, who was an economics professor there at Indiana uh, State, was a uh, uh, she actually run the department there. But what, what the problem was here, you can see these all of these planets are lined up. See, we got, uh, wow, just got a whole bunch of them in here. We got Venus, Mercury, Mars, Neptune. All of them are lining up really closely. Uh, and these are the, you know, the main financial pan, uh, planets that we have here. And they're lining up in a uh, where they're all in one area. Now, all I did was, well, I asked her the question, okay, now if that's the truth, uh, this were, remember we were looking at data going back from 1825, you know, that was 30, 38 years ago that I did this. But if you look and find every time you see this, you're going to see a major turn in the stock market. You don't see it all the time, but you usually do. This should have come in at the very earliest, January the uh, 28th, and at the latest uh, tomorrow, today or tomorrow, that means if the market is up on Monday, it's certainly not working. And then what you do is you blame Shane Smolian at wolftraderfutures.com. His phone number is 505-535-5335. Repeat it, 805-555-3535. And he'll be able to answer your question to refund any money on losses that you might have. Now, I posted earlier the chart of the uh, NASDAQ. I wanted to get this to your attention because... We're up in an area. If you like ABCDs, you can see we've got here a 17871. So far, the high. We made a new high today at 8778 something. Okay. Now we have some other ABCDs that I actually didn't draw all the little ones in because this was the one over the last several days that really seemed to be uh, the most powerful. So all I do know is when it turns and when it, and it will turn, uh, it's going to be pretty nasty. But that's what we're paying attention to here today. Now what we're going to do now is we're going to switch over to some live stuffs to see where we are. And uh, there's the there's this is the crude oil I'm looking for to sell it up here at 7627. So far the high has been 7624. But uh, that's a little bit early in the game. Let's take a look here uh, at the Russell because the Russell was the one that was uh, really a big a big mover today. Hold on one second. This is a, we had sold the Russell, let's get that 60 minute up, and uh, of course here was the, the area where we sold it here, it was right here, our stop was right there, and it's continued to go higher, you see we've already moved higher, that tells us we're probably going to go even higher, but even then, look at this, this is not bullish folks, let me let me show you here, this is the weekly chart, this is, this is not a bullish chart folks, no matter how you look at it, made a 50% eight weeks ago, it hasn't gone anywhere, you know. So it's it's mainly a whole bunch of stocks that are doing the whole thing. So that's why you've got to uh, you know prepare yourself to say, well, some of these these could go a whole lot higher, a whole lot you know lower, either one. So you got to protect yourself. That's the main thing. My voice is fading a little worse than I wanted to. All right, let's move on here to a couple others that we have on that look real that have been doing well. Uh, oh, I'll do the I'll do the grain report in just a few minutes. But first, here uh, I want to uh, get this set up so that I can quickly refer to the uh, the euro because that's one that has been uh, here. It is right now. We'll get this up here. Here's the euro. It's moving in our direction. If you remember from the daily chart, okay, this is where uh, we were buying the euro, which was. Uh, this is a weekly. Let's get to the daily, Larry. Hold on one second, folks. Okay, there was your Garley right here. 
We bought it right there. It, right now it's up about 40 pips from where we bought it. Our stop is right below here, 107.40. Okay, we bought it at uh, 48. I think it's trading at 93 right now. So it has everything you could ask for. You got an A, B, C, D to the downside, another A, B, C, D down. And then finally, I showed that this last rally from this last high should take us up here at least to this area here, 108.30. That would be your first profit objective. What is interesting about this, if you like these patterns, if you'll just look at this pattern right here and just move it over, you see how almost identical it was to the other one? The swings were, I mean, the time swings were perfect, but the actual numbers, they went higher, but the formation of it was still this. That beautiful little ABCD, Gartley, or what they call the lightning bolt, or as, as uh, Mandelbrot said, it was a lightning bolt. Hartley called it an ABCD pattern. So that's what we're paying attention to here now, uh, here in the euro. Okay, now let's get on to the uh, soybean market because I think we have a situation going here in soybeans. We've been waiting for this for quite some time. We'll get the daily up here. Uh, I think it's a four hour. Yeah, the four hour is what we want to be watching. We're getting very, very close to our buy price down here. Let me open this up here. Uh, that comes in at around 90.03, down 10 cents from where we are right now. The report came out today, and as expected, it was a little bearish. Market has backed off about 20 cents, but I will have to be a buyer here at around 11.88. It's down $12 from where we are right now. And the reasoning for that is that if you take this, look at it real closely, over the last uh, few days here, you'll see that you're going to come into a really nice little butterfly right at the bottom here at 11.90. So 11.90, $10 from where we are right now. I have to be a buyer of the soybean, uh, of July soybeans. Now, let's take a quick look here at the July soybean meal just for kicks and giggles, okay? And we'll get, uh, no, I wanted to do December because that looks even different, okay? Okay, now here is the December soybean meal. This is new crop, folks, okay? This is new crop. Now, we're only $5 away here. Now, you remember on the July that I looked at, we were $10 away, okay? We are only $5 away here, okay? Get this out of the way because we move that. Uh, hold on a second here. Oh, shucks, I can't get it out of the way. Uh, the buy on the meal here was at... Uh, 38 with a stop at 18. That stop, you got to tighten that up a little bit. But this is what we're watching here for Christmas meal. We're very, very close at 339. Now remember, we're five dollars away in the December, and we're only eleven dollars away in the. Uh, are we going lower yet? Still, yeah. So we're we're getting close. It might not be today. It might be tomorrow. But I believe that those cycles that Shane pointed out are going to be indicative of a whole lot of things happening. So uh, I, I believe in this stuff because I've looked at all of them, folks, over the last hundred and some years with Dr. Miller, and I, I, I couldn't find one that wasn't really dramatic, but maybe this is the one. I don't know. All right, let's take a break here. 877-927-6648. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. 
Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, so this is the weekly chart of soybeans going back over the last six years. I want to bring a story to your attention here. It was back in 1970, when that was only 54 years ago. I was trading at Conti Commodity in uh, Los Angeles, there on Wilshire Boulevard in Little Santa Monica. And we had a pattern like this. I didn't know what this pattern was until four or five years later, but I knew that uh, we had higher bottoms in here, so that looked like a head and shoulders pattern to me. And uh, now this isn't the same chart, but it looked exactly the same. And I bought them here, and I sold them there, made a lot of money. Then I lost it all during a move like this. But look where we are in the weekly here, on the weekly soybean chart, folks. Going back over the last six years, we've been in a bear market now for two years. Okay, we've gone from $18 a bushel down to roughly $12 a bushel. We're setting almost exactly at the 61% retracement. If you like ABCD patterns, and I certainly do, I know they're old-fashioned to some, but folks, old-fashioned is not bad. Old-fashioned is good. Anyway, you can see here, we'll just draw these in to give you a rough idea of why I feel uh, friendly to the beans. I mean, I'm, there's only three people on this earth that are friendly to them now, and that's myself, Rich Anderson. We don't know who the third person is. And then we have one more that's coming in right about here if you'll see here it says a little bit lower on this but on the 618 remember mathematics precedes geometry so we want to be watching this it's doing exactly making lower lows on the week and that's going to make this a, a three drive to a bottom pattern you'll draw it in right here okay move it over just a little bit remember they haven't even planted these beans for uh, you know the new crop they're still they're still thinking about it but look at the look at the similarities that we might have here if you'll look at the high on the uh, soybeans way back in July when they were up around 15 bucks okay from that time we've been down for let's take oopsie daisy I got to use the right tool cowboy let's make sure we get that thing done uh, let's do this get rid of this so we can see the whole Camilla without any trouble at all that we don't need to get rid of that that'll delete that and then we're okay delete okay here's where we are oopsie daisy all right I want to see from this high down to this low took 12 weeks and I can see right now that we're already below 12 weeks but let's blow this up so we can see it really clearly 
do it again here. What I'm doing, folks, is trying to show you the price and time. That's what really astrology is all about. But uh, you'll see here that from the high down to the low, it took 12 weeks. So all I do now is I move my pointer to the high. And guess where we are, folks? We are in the, uh, the 12th week right now. So you got time and price squared up, everything that you could possibly ask for. Now, the last thing we want to do is to look at some Fibonacci numbers. We put this one in right here. The 127 comes in at 12.03. This one comes in on 11.76. Okay, so we're looking at the 61% retracement here on the weekly. Let's get it up here. So you'll be able to see it real clearly. Uh, uh, hold on just a second. I have to uh, redraw it now. Oh, you know what's the difference? This is just the March, and I need to do the... Uh, you have to do the... Uh, uh, the continuation chart, uh, shucks. I have to do this, folks, because this is really important. There's the continuation chart that we were looking at. That comes in. It says <laughs> Anyway, that number is right where it is almost right now, right around. Let's just move this into a, on the daily. You'll see we're very, very close to that number right now. We haven't taken the lows out of the last few days, but we're going to be there very very shortly okay that we've already done the number in the uh, july beans these are the nearby beans that means they're probably going to go uh maybe eh, it could go 17 cents lower it says whether they do or not remains to be seen but we're getting really close we'll keep an eye on those beans because the ones that we looked at here are the july beans and the buy number here is at 11.90. That's eight cents from where we are right now. They should be there today or tomorrow. I'm going to be a buyer. I'm going to be a buyer of beans here at uh, eight nine eleven ninety today or tomorrow, whatever it happens to be. And then what I'm going to do, if I'm correct, I'm going to hold these things until they get up to around 17. Folks, I've been doing this a very long time. In all the years I've been doing this now, it's been, it's been 62 years. There's never been a year in 62 years. Oh, well, there's never been a, a year ever when we don't get at least two or three crop scares every year. Some of them are valid, some of them aren't. But for the last several years, we've been able to feed the world and ourselves. Well, prices have gone up a bit, but uh, they're, they're, we still have good crops. Now, someday, if one of our crops fails, that's a serious problem. That's how wars start because, you know, people can't get food. Now, they can put up with all the baloney on Fox and CNN and all the other stuff with all the political baloney, but <laughs> if they don't get fed, they get really upset. So that's what we're watching here as we look at these things uh, here to trade today. Well, I made it through. I think I've got our friend uh, Stan Harley's going to be giving us some great information on the stock market. And then what we'll be doing is we'll be continuing on. But watch these beans here, 1190, folks, in the July beans. And you got to risk uh, – to be there, to be a farmer, you got to risk 20 cents, uh, which is 1000 bucks. But you don't have to buy the land. You don't have to buy the tractor. You don't have to pay anybody to harvest it for you. You just get out if you don't like it. That's basically – you know what we're watching here as we're looking at some of these things here unfolding here uh, today. So let's keep those things in mind. Uh-oh, somebody's got a, a call. Let's just double check. We got Michael from Niagara Falls. Michael, how are you? What can I help you with, my friend? Yeah, Kung Hoi Fat Toy, Larry. The year of Lacey the dragon. Lacey Dalloy. Lacey Dalloy. That's the 10th, folks. Chinese New Year coming up Saturday. What's up, buddy? That's right. The year of the dragon, just like in the 1985 movie starring uh, Mickey O'Rourke and Michael Simonino. <laughs> I don't remember that one, but what's there going were to happen with you know, the There were big protests outside the Odeon, Odeon Theaters in Toronto back in 1985 uh -huh. when that movie was uh, initially released. Why were they because protesting, of, uh, right? The anti-Chinese sentiment in that movie. Oh, anti-Chinese sentiment because that movie, yeah. Well, they got a lot of anti-Chinese sentiment now, so they're, it's a cycle yeah. reappearing appears. I was looking at the FXI, and you know what? I'm going to take a pass. I was just wondering if I could get a second opinion. Okay, we'll take a look at the FXI. This is the futures for the, the ETF for the Chinese market. It's been going down. It's had a, a rally here recently because of the fact that uh, the Ch Chinese government is – uh, uh, stop short selling 
Where did it go? F. Here it is, FXI. Hold on a second. This is the law. I, I post this in the chart a week, every week, but this is, it's been going down for, oh dear, this is just as, it's, uh, it's been going down for at least 10 years. And you can see yeah. here, uh, we're, About we're at a double. in Hong Kong, huh? Yes, pretty much, yeah. You'll notice here that we had, uh, we're almost at a double bottom in here, but it hasn't done much. If we look at the daily on this, Mike, you'll see it's had a, a pretty good pop here the last couple of days, but it's given it all back already. See, that's not a good sign. Oh, hey, thanks. Thanks for calling in, Mike. Mean? I appreciate it. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at tfnn.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, we have some technical difficulties with uh, Stan Harley coming on, so bear with me here. And I'll get back and we'll talk about some of these markets that uh, we'll be looking at. Again, let me get this ready. It uh, only takes one second to get this up and moving, and then I'll be able to show you what we're looking at here. All right, let's get into what's happening in in real life, folks. You know, we, <laughs> what's going on with the soybeans here. Here's where we are. I like this trade, folks, but I like some trades that don't work. But uh, let me let me just show you why this looks so beautiful. Okay, you can see uh, this is not working the way I get. 
Let's see, smoke it out. Oh, I know why. I got to get it out of the way because that's an old contract. Okay, here's where we are. The July beans already went through the stuff. Wait for the number, folks. Eleven ninety. Okay. You only got to risk ten cents. You know, five hundred bucks. You become a farmer for five hundred bucks. Look, you got a big ABCD here. You're sitting exactly at the sixty-one percent retracement on a weekly. I know people don't like Fibonacci and stuff, but sometimes these numbers work, and that's why I'm looking at them so clearly. If you if we play this right, and remember, these things have been down for two years now, okay? When I traded beans, the highest price they had been in the 10 years previously was $3.90 a bushel. I was trading when they were 2 and a half to $3. Corn was a buck and a quarter. They weren't using a lot of soybeans, but soybeans have a, 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 unique, a unique property. In there. They're, they're used in so many things. You know, you, you can't go through a day without touching something that soybeans have been involved with. Henry Ford was the one that brought it to this country because he couldn't get color in his cars because the, they use lacquer, these basic ground-up in, insects and stuff. And uh, they needed something that would absorb with uh, color. The soybean oil did that. They made that into a paint. And that's why you started to see... The old Fords uh, came out with uh, white and red and blue and, my goodness, all different kinds of colors. But that's the, the main reason behind that. We owe that to to Henry Ford. Okay, now let's get back to this, this price objective here. Sometimes these darn things just don't work. You know what I mean? Like right now, I've been looking at the stock market here very vividly since the middle of December for some type of a topping action. I I was I had the folks short the uh, year uh, Stop the front door, Larry. <clears throat> the Euro, the Russell, uh, they lost three hundred and fifty dollars on that trade. Now we have some other trades that are on that are doing pretty good. We just had a cattle trade that we booked six hundred dollars on, and then we also had a uh, oh dear, there's so many. <laughs> we we also had a Euro trade that was good. We had a crude oil trade that was good. We had a gold trade that was good. Uh, the bond trade didn't work, but you know that's what it's all about, folks. Sometimes it's chicken salad. Some what is what? Yeah. Sometimes it's chicken salad. Sometimes it's chicken poop. It depends on what you mix it with. And sometimes all I have is chicken poop. But it'll turn to salad if you bear with me. There are times where you can lose six, seven, eight times in a row doing this. This was proved by the Floor Traders Handbook. I mean that thing went over. I think ten thousand euro trades over a nine-year period. And it followed it religiously on 15-minute charts, you know, looking for the ABCD patterns and when they would work and when they wouldn't. And it pointed out that, yes, they do work, but they only work part of the time, about 62% of the time. Show me a baseball player that hits 620. That would be pretty good. Anyway, and here's what we're going on. Tomorrow is going to be a very important day, hopefully, if we don't have technical difficulties. But Norm Winsky will be on with his prediction of the Super Bowl based on astrology. And uh, he's been really good, folks. I think in the last 10 years, I think he's been right eight out of 10 times. Certainly better than I am at picking the things. I like the idea that I heard on the show previously on the Think or Swim, is to take a poll of what everybody's betting on and do the opposite. Because that's a pretty good idea of what would be coming on uh, at those times. So that's what, we're, that's what we're paying attention to anyway. We're going to find out if it has any merit or not. But uh, it's going to be a very heavily watched football game, probably the best uh, Super Bowl in quite some time. And, uh, of course, all the stars will be out, and we'll, we'll find out what goes from here. My voice is, is uh, tempering just a little bit, so I can't, uh, can't really talk much longer, but I should be able to make it to the end. I'll ask a question here about Apple stock. One second, please, and I'll get this up here. I haven't looked at it in quite some time. Last time I saw it was 180-something. Apple starts with an A, doesn't it? There it is, Apple. Okay, here's where we are. Okay, we had, there's Apple, and uh, you can see here, we stopped at the 61% retracement on the way down. Looks very similar to what we're looking at in soybeans. Let's just draw it in so we can see what the exact uh, the exact number was. And uh, from your low to your high, the exact number for Apple came in here. Missed it by 
the upper is 78.64, the low was 70, oh, wow. 70, uh, uh, 73, uh, wait, no, 70, 78, oh my, I missed it by 38 cents, oh my goodness. Then we had a pretty good rally. The last rally rallied right up to the, uh, it's well, uh, a little above the 618, now it's back below it, so not much there. The last rally here was right up at the 786, it looks like. It hit there and stayed there for one, two, three, four days, and boy, that's why it's uh, pretty interesting, okay? All right, now let's move on here to the next one, and uh, hold on one second here. I'm afraid that if I don't uh, take a little break here, I might not. I'm fading fast, and that's not a good idea. I want to be on for tomorrow for Norm. The question someone had was about wheat. Hello, wheat. Where are you right here? I haven't looked at wheat in several days, but we're going to look at it right now. Here again, we're coming down along with the rest of the crops and stuff. Now, wheat has been much stronger. Remember, we had this big ABCD on the weekly here. We had a good run. Look, at stopped right there at the 78% level. You see that ABCD? Had a nice rally up. Didn't do very much. All it did from the high down to the low was go up to just a little above the 382, 50%. There's your 382 right here. And now it's coming down. And it looks like it's making another ABCD pattern. So we'll draw this up. Fact is, it is making an ABCD pattern. There's your ABCD right here. There's your CD right here. Someone asked me, why do you why do you spend so much time with ABCD? Folks, in 1986, I had an idea of starting a little letter called Astro Cycles because I could see these things. Had some things. I went down to see Larry Williams down in San Diego. Spent the day with him. He had a brown uh, Rolls Royce with a beautiful interior. And the car <laughs> had the keys in it and the window was down. And I went up to his office and I told the secretary, she says, you'll have to ask Larry that. So I went and I said, dude, I said, you can get your keys in the cars and the windows down. He said, Larry, there's never been a Rolls Royce that's been stolen. He said, they sell cars because of parts. He said, it's no problem. I said, okay. And the car, the car was never stolen. But anyway, I had this idea to do this. And I'll tell you about that when we get back. 877-927-6648. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, I was finishing the story about uh, visiting Larry Williams back in 1987. And uh, I wanted to go into the newsletter writing business, and I wanted to get some input. And he said, well, look, Larry, I'll tell you this. He said, uh, if you can make them money, he said, they'll stay with you. But if you can't make them money, they're not going to stay with you. He said, I don't care what your education is. I don't care what your college is. I don't care. You know, whether you've been a senator or a governor or anything else, if you, can, if you make money for people, they'll stay with you. If you don't make money for people, they won't stay with you. And I've been doing it for a long time because if you stick with me, we've made some money. Maybe we never got rich. Some people have, but, uh, you know, this is what we're looking at here. Now, let's take a look at this wheat really closely because very interesting what we're looking at here. First of all, we got a really nice eight-day cycle in here. It's going to be a lunar cycle, I'm sure. Anyway, here's where we are. We made the first ABCD pattern here. Okay, that measures at 70, roughly 79. We're at 84. This one measures 82 and three quarters. The low today has been uh, 83 and three quarters. So we've taken out the stops of these dudes. Okay, so it's probably going to stop really close to the 78% level. That's what I get. Now we start getting below here. You don't want to be a farmer, so you buy it here at say 83. Let's get be real, real. Buy it at 82, and you put a stop right below here at 72. So you become a farmer for 500 bucks, folks. ABCs they don't always work. Here's a perfect example. There's another one in wheat right here. There's your ABCD pattern here. You see that? It missed it by a penny. 11. Oh, I missed it by half a penny from the exact price. And I don't know if I even drew this right. Let me draw it again just to be safe because it looks like it might have been spot on. There's your AP leg here. There's your CD. Yeah, it was. There was the low right there. The exact low, 73.10. This was 73 and a quarter. Rallied quite a bit. So here's where we're coming in right now. So take a look. It could be long wheat or corn or beans. I haven't done corn. I imagine corn will be the same. Let's just double check it here since we've got some time since Stan has. I was going to do this in a video tonight, which I will do. Uh, here is the corn, but we want to do Christmas corn. Here's Christmas corn right here. Should be making new lows today. Oh, crap. <laughs> it's called a bad tick, boys and girls. See, I sold here and I covered down here. And let's just get the four hour up so we can see it. I know we're, we're probably making, no, not even making new lows today. Oh, we already did. Uh, okay. Anyway, here's what we have. Uh, oh, I've got Stan. What is uh, what? We got Stan Harley on the line. Stan, are you there? I am indeed. Uh, I've been having fun here watching you uh, share your charts, talking yeah. about eight-day cycles. Yeah. You, call, <laughs> you call that fun. How long have you been waiting, Stan? Oh, not long. Okay. Well, why don't you, you know, this is, we've only got a few segments here. Why don't we do a little bit today and a little bit tomorrow? Would you have time to do that? 
It'd be my pleasure. Absolutely. Okay. Thank you very much. Why don't we uh, get um, get rid of all my stuff here so you guys don't have to to watch that, and then we'll go ahead and start with Stan today, and then we'll finish up, and then we'll have you on in the morning right after the open. Uh, that'll be around one uh, one ten or so. Would that be okay? That'd be terrific. Yes. Okay. Indeed. Okay, folks, we got Stan Harley, the Harley Stock Market Letter here for the next 10 minutes. Stay with us. And go ahead, Stan. Here's a uh, picture of where I am right now, just due north of you. I'm in uh, Arizona here for a few weeks. Uh, wow, pretty and cool. And this is our beautiful state. There's the Grand Canyon, of course. Uh, Let's. Uh, you, got any, you, got, you got any snow in the mountains up there in Scottsdale? Because we got a lot of snow around here. Uh, no, no, we're down in the valley here, so it's a little warmer okay. here. Yeah, sure uh, is. Up north and uh, and down south, and we're here here in the Phoenix metro area. No, no snow at all. Um, here is a weekly chart of the stock market, and I've shared this with you and the viewers uh, many times. Uh, what this reflects is what I call the primary weekly cycle, which is 34 weeks, eight months. Both of those are Fibonacci numbers, and this cycle, like all cycles, it expands and contracts. It last bottomed right there on October 20th, 27th and we've been rocketing higher. And uh, if my calculations are right, uh, we should make another low in this cycle uh, towards the end of June, about the third week in June. Uh, so between uh, now and uh, let's say May, I think the path of least resistance is, is northbound. We're hesitating right now, as you know, right around the 5,000 area. Um, I think we're looking for some just near-term hesitation but ultimately, I think you're going to be looking at uh, 5,000 in the rearview mirror here in the not uh, too distant future. Okay, well, 5,000, that's not very far away, is it? <laughs> uh, we're, <laughs> we're just a hair breath away. Yeah. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, precious, precious metals. Uh, here is a cycle um, that I've shared in the past, uh, updated. Uh, what I have found is the dominant cycle as measured trough to trough in the metals is 94 months, which happens to be our good old friend Lucas 47 times two. And uh, 47 times two is 94, and as one can see, without uh, exception, every 94 plus or minus eight months, uh, precious metals, i.e. COMEX gold, has made a significant trough on the charts. And my regression analysis points to the May 2024 time period for the next low in this sequence. All right, let's see if maybe we can pin this down a little bit more. Uh, here is a daily chart, uh, current through the close yesterday. And uh, this cycle spans approximately four months. Uh, these vertical lines are evenly spaced apart and look how well they pick up all of the lows on the daily chart, all of them, 100%. And the next low in this four month cycle is due in late May. Oh my gosh, we also have a 94 month cycle low due in May as well. So uh, we'll be watching that one very, very closely. Oh good, that's really. Uh, if, if we have time, we'll continue. If not- uh, Oh yes, we no, we have, we have time. And then what we'll do is we've okay. got another three minutes after the break, okay? Alrighty, uh, let's take a look at home prices something that uh, is talked about a lot in the media. And uh, I think a lot of people mistakenly believe that home prices only go up, 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 up forever and ever. Uh, well, I'm here to tell you they don't. They go up and they go down, they go up and they go down. <laughs> uh, I think the best measure of home price activity are, are the Case Schiller series of home price indices. This data is kept on the Federal Reserve, FRED, the FRED website. One can download this, it's free dump it into a spreadsheet, analyze it. There is a national index, and there are a number of, there are 20 major metropolitan indices, and then of the, of the largest cities, there are 10 major indices that track home prices all around the country. I look at the Case-Shiller data just like I look at the stock market. So the national index is sort of like the S&P 500, and then I look at the regional indices around the country to look for either confirmations or divergences. Uh, a very, very simple but very effective buy sell signal. Oh, okay. we got to meet. Yep, yeah, we got to pay a few bills. We'll be back with Stan Harley, folks. The Harley Stock Market Letter. Stay tuned.
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks, and uh, Stan will finish today, and it'll have some stuff for us tomorrow. Probably, probably do the whole thing over again, Stan, if you don't mind. Could you do that? Be my pleasure. Absolutely. Uh, that's what. That's why you get the big bucks, my friend. You that's make everybody why we get the happy. big bucks. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Let's finish up here for the day, and then we'll see you tomorrow. So go ahead. All right. Uh, I know this is a short segment, so we'll zip through this one. Uh, Case Shiller. This is the National Case Shiller Index. A very simple but very effective buy signal uh, is a crossing of the 18-month moving average. Each one of these data points are monthly plots. Uh, the monthly data points are in blue. And I, what I've done is I've put on an 18-month moving average in red and a crossing of the monthly bars either above or below that 18-month moving average. Very simple, but a very effective buy-sell signal. Uh, what I've done to, to make it a little bit easier to read, I've taken that same data and I've constructed what's called a 27-month percentage range indicator. And this is range bound between 0 and 100. So it's the same data from the prior chart but I've just put it into an indicator that plots the data okay. between zero and 100%. So when the dots are moving up, the market's getting overbought. When the dots are heading down to the floor, the market's getting oversold. And so over here on the left is the July 1990 peak. Uh, we, we had a bottom here in May of 2012, February to May of 2012. And then we had another peak over here, which I believe occurred in October. And let's just run through the numbers very quickly. Um, I've talked about Fibonacci and Lucas. It's my, my theory 
that Fibonacci numbers work best in defining movements from high to low or low to high, and Lucas numbers do a better job of defining time counts from high to high or low to low. Uh, wow. Take a look at this. From the low we had back in 1992 and to the peak uh, October of 2023, um, that was a total of uh, almost Fibonacci 377. Well, this is Stan. We're going to have you we'll on tomorrow. To so no more. more detail. God bless you, my friend. We'll see you in the morning, folks. Stan Harley, live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. Thank you.